game. Zimbabwe have only conceded one in their four matches so far. But, uh, all defensive players at this tournament, some of whom players are attacking players for their club sides. Most notably, Milton Lube plays as a winger, come striker for Highlanders, and in fact has a, a league hat trick to his name. Mahaji, quick youngster, just being fouled this time. Tricky little run up, a driving ball from the middle of the park. Mahachi involved again, found Sadiki in a bit of space. Elgadi, though, wrong foot. He's not officially coaching this uh, Mali side. To the near side, Mahachi. Moyo, first time strike, but he's come across it. And with it, just sent it out at the wrong angle and always curling away from the Akites goal. Pressure here, Mahachi. Some footwork and then put in an all important pop. Mahachi dancing his way into the area. Mahachi, great chance. Zimbabwe have two. Mahachi, splendid goal, dancing his way into the 18 yard area, then dancing his way through the opposition defence to double Zimbabwe's advantage. The 20 year old has his first of the tournament. But a quite special goal, brilliant to watch. Zimbabwe, only one goal in three matches building up to this. They finally found a little firepower. Mahachi, one, two, three, four, was that five that he went through? Clinical touches from the speedy youngster and showing just why he is so wanted by so many clubs. Kuragwashi Mahachi is on loan from Bantu Rovers to Chicken Inn. But there are infinitely bigger clubs that are wanting his signature. And that's why. Coming in now toward the back post. Great chance for Morocco. Keeper committed one way. Eventually Mahachi sends the ball out to safety on the near side. But again less than clinical in the Zimbabwean defence. Shigoba came out, committed himself again and then fell to... Mahachi, delivery inside, again looking promising, it's just taken a little clip of film. To me, so another quarter kick it'll be. Final few minutes, and no chance for... Zimbabwe from the set piece to Danny Piri. Near side, Mahachi's gone down. We see a caution. And we are going to see a caution. It's time for Julius and Dumbi, two of the Ugandan defenders now sitting on yellow cards. Ugandan right back. Of the caution here, a double arm across the chest of Mahachi. So it wasn't uh, an out and out, actually, the way they would have liked, not full of confidence. Mahachi off the woodwork, it's not too far away. This time, palmed away by Ochan. The initial ball in looked to be curling away from Ochan's goal when it suddenly struck the woodwork against the life for Zimbabwe here. Mahachi at the back post, and just over the head of the new man on Maziwisa as well. Got his nose into a very advanced position, standing just outside the six-yard area of Uganda. Maziwisa charging to try to win that ball in the air ahead of uh, Kabuga. But that initial ball in from Mahachi actually striking the woodwork. This is the attempted delivery. Just clipped that top corner, looked to be curling away. And a follow up bit. And Chigoba comes out and sends this ball a long way downfield. Mahachi's got pace and he's got uh, a man square as well. Delivery is Zimbabwe, surely. All it needed was a clean connection from Stole. He might have the name of a lion on his back. And he is certainly a little toothless in front of goal in this competition.
glorious chance for Stolle as he had against Morocco in the opening fixture. I'm hoping that uh, they'll be hanging medals around their necks come the end of this competition. Some real confidence. Great chance for Zimbabwe. Lovely run into the area by Sibanda. Nahachi again down the near side. Proving to be effective from the near flank. Laid in another cross, this time far enough away from Ochan not to get the keeper coming out to try to claim it. But disappointing header from Charles Sibat. So, Klompe Kekana looking uh, a little bit adventurous here. Cuthbert Malajil has had uh, some wonderful touches in the match so far. Tekemotise, look at the touch from him. Lovely ball, Mahachi's offside. Won't count. Lovely feet though from Mahachi. Just a fraction off. Well, uh, good interpassing there. There we see. It doesn't look. It doesn't look offside. Clearly, the linesman got it wrong. That's a legitimate goal there. Marchi scored. He can't believe it. It's a. It Can he score against his former teammates? Mahachi across the area. Keeper doesn't make contact. General. Teko Matisse does. That's his fourth of the season. Sundowns lead by two to one. Well. Jacola, we sang his praises, made an error there, should have punched, punched the ball forward, punched it into the run of the attacker, and I'm sure he's, he's, he's feeling terrible there. Jacko took the goal so well, you know, made sure that he, his header was kept on target, wonderfully taken goal by Jacko. Here you see that ball coming in. Good combination play there. Going to Mahachi who brings that ball across and you must ask questions about what Jacola was doing there, fluffing at that ball. Completely he didn't even get contact with it. I can't understand. Maybe a punch would have been a better option. And Teko said thank you very much. You can't give a quality player like Teko Medusa this much space. Absolutely unprotected. Well, one must have a look at the centre backs, one must have a look at the goalkeeper as well. It's just uh, brilliant save. from there from Mahashe, that goes well over the top. Amatux 1, Bloom Celtic 2, that's a final score as well there. Troubles continue for Amatux. They are now second last. <laughs> Mahashe. Early ball for Niang. Chance for Niang off his chest. Miyua. Didn't make much of a save, but it didn't go in the back of the net either. I think Meiwa missed the ball and caught Niang in the process. Nice chest down here from the Senegalese, and he, with those long legs, tried to get a knock. The young Zimbabwean international, Kudakwashe Mahashi. Given away here by Isaacs, they could be punished. Square ball, it's a bit strong for Dominguez. And now it's finished off by Mahashi, who scores on debut. Sundowns will secure all three points now against a 10 man Morocco Swallows. Well, there won't be any protest tonight, for, uh, that's for sure. They will go home celebrating. Well, you know, uh, they were made to pay their swallows. Uh, careless error there from Isaacs, giving the ball away. Almost got away with it. The ball was played across, recovered, and uh, what a well-taken goal there by Mahashe. This was the error, nicked away by Modise. That pass was a little strong and a little square, but they still recovered here, Dominguez. And then Mahashi says, thank you very much, the defense. All guilty of ball watching here. As it comes back in again, easy tap away. And what a way to start your PSL career. For me, Mark, uh, Pelembe, I mean, sorry, Tekomo Dise has been outstanding. Not only did he create... Now Mahashi, wide out here. Ball in, looking for Modise. Didn't find him Malajila with a pass. 
Intelligent pass there from Malajila, well defended by Isaacs. It looks like this is the vintage Sundowns we saw last season. Nice diagonal ball played there to Malajila. Good first touch. Looks up, plays it across.